Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the brand new Marvel Legends Nightcrawler, which is part of the X-Men Wendigo Build-A-Figure wave of Marvel Legends. This is another one which has had many people in a tizzy. Nightcrawler is a popular character. He's one of my personal favorites from X-Men. The last one we got was actually a really good figure, but it's old as heck and had some had its own fair share of issues, for sure. So people wanted a new one, we got a new one, is it any good? Some people are saying it's great, some people are saying it's decent, some people are saying, actually I haven't heard anybody say it's bad, so that's good. But let's see, let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 16 centimeters, which makes him pretty close to six and a quarter inches, including his hair, so he is slightly shorter than your average Marvel Legends figure, they're usually about six and a half to six and three quarters. Here he is up against a bucky cap. You can see he's a little bit shorter, so that's that's okay. That's what he should be, I like it. Overall, first impression of the figure, I love the overall build. It's very nice. It suits him nicely, really good proportions. I, like, I don't like the crotch gap. We're getting really big crotch gap or thigh gap on figures lately, and that's kind of irritating because most people don't have that but it's whatever, it's not the biggest deal. But otherwise, it does look really good first impression wise. Proportions are good, head is not too big, thank God. I like it, overall proportions are really nice. Paint job on this guy, definitely subpar. It looks like cheeks right here. They painted the red, obviously. They painted the white, obviously, and the red is just terrible. The white is okay. The red on top of the white on this side is a totally different color. It's a much brighter red, and it's not very clean. And then down here for the boots, you can see through the red to where the white stops. So you can see like a white uh, outline underneath the red and it's just terrible. Really ugly, poor, poor finish on this figure, unfortunately, because that's all the paint you really needed. A little bit right here, which is good enough. It's kind of sloppy, but it's not terrible. But they really just, like these are not even close to the same reds. Much brighter on, the, on his right, our left side. Much darker there. Terrible paint job, that really, really blows. Uh, as for the sculpt of the body, it's very nice overall. I mean, it's not as perfectly organic looking. I mean, it's still fairly boxy in like the bicep region, but all in all, it's, a, it's one of their best sculpts for the body, for sure. I like it a whole bunch, and it makes sense for this character. Very, very nicely done. Uh, I think... Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the heads a little bit now. So he does come with three heads. We'll get to that in the accessories. But so here's the thing. I have heard people saying that they love the heads and some people saying that the heads are, are not very good likeness to him. And I can see both arguments. Overall, I like the heads. They don't look like typical Hasbro Marvel Legends, so that's good. It doesn't look like they just took something that already existed and tweaked it. So that's awesome. Uh, the argument that it doesn't quite look like Nightcrawler is also true. He doesn't generally have these soft features that you see, particularly on the two more neutral heads. Uh, he has very soft features, and he looks more elfish than he probably should. Uh, typically speaking, Nightcrawler has kind of a mean look with more angular features, especially for his classic iteration. So, yeah, I could definitely see the complaints. I don't think it's a big enough issue to really worry about. It's not like this is a figure that needs a new head, for example. I think it's fine. It's, it's more so a matter of opinion, but it definitely could have a little bit more of that classic angular look. Uh, the yelling head with the shaded forehead gives more of the kind of demon-y look that Nightcrawler is known to have, so I think that's pretty good. But all in all, they're pretty good looking heads for sure, and I like the fact that they're not just tweaked versions of like Johnny Storm or something like that. Or if they are, they did a good job of tweaking them, so that's good. So all in all, the aesthetics on this guy, I'll give him an 8, no, a 7, because the lousy paint job on the wrists and boots. That's terrible. That is just terrible. They keep taking these figures that are so close to perfect for a Hasbro figure anyway, and then just knocking them down a few pegs on their own. They're like, yeah, we don't care. We don't care. Make it two different color reds. Make sure the reds don't color cover the white. Make sure it just looks like as bad as possible as far as paint goes. So yeah, that's disappointing. Okay, so as far as accessories go, we do have the one completely neutral head, the one where he's smiling and showing his teeth, which is, the teeth are painted pretty well, so that's good. It's un unexpected. It's kind of surprising, so that's good. And then we do have the angry head. Uh, I guess the eyes are a little wide on some of the heads, like the, all but the neutral head, the eyes look a little bit wide, but it's not terrible. Overall, pretty good heads. We do have a total of three hands. We have the two relaxed hands, then we have one sword gripping hand, which has the vertical joint, so that is awesome. And then we do have his sword, which is done very nicely. The handle is nice and gold, the sword is nice and silver, 
and that's nice. So accessory wise, this guy gets a nine, an eight out of 10, an eight out of 10, because, because the, he, uh, no, accessory wise, this guy gets a nine out of 10. We could use some fist hands or something like that, but otherwise it's a pretty solid batch of accessories. So that's pretty good. Or like a poof, a bamf. We should probably have a bamf accessory. So that's, you know, could be could be better. Okay, now for the articulation. The head is what you would expect. We have our hinged ball peg at the top. Luckily though, like I said, the heads don't sit too high, but we do get a little bit of play on there. It's amazing how you don't have to have a lollipop to have functional articulation. Like it leans side to side on the ball, rotates of course, and it leans all the way back and all the way forward. It's a, it's a, it's a miracle, Hasbro, it's a miracle. These guys are not as soft as they could be, so they will impede articulation significantly. But you do get full rotation, obviously, otherwise. Raising the shoulder goes better than horizontal, so that's nice. There is a butterfly joint in here, but it is all but worthless. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't feel like mine's stuck, it just doesn't have anywhere to go. So that kind of sucks. You do get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow works nicely. That's pretty good. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, of course. Ab joint, diaphragm, or ab crunch is pretty good. Look, they don't have that weird pot belly thing anywhere near as much as they have in the past, which means they don't have to do that. It still has it a little bit, but it's not anywhere near as bad. So you get really good range out of it. Now it's more noticeable on the back, but I'll, I'll allow that. Very nice ab crunch. Waist twist is fine. The tail can rotate, so that's really good. But here's the problem with the tail, and this is just a really stupid problem to have. Why do they have it wrapping around the front? Why do they have the tail wrapping around the front of the figure? It's like, it sticks between his legs if you put it in the middle. It's, just don't, don't make it come around the front. It gets in the way of posing. It just doesn't make, well, don't, just don't do that. Make it bendable or just sculpt it in a more neutral pose. Like this, just sculpt it like that. Have it go down and curve so that it's behind him. You can still rotate it around. What's the benefit of having it stick forward? You know what I mean? Like, that's just a stupid problem to have. It's in the way for no reason at all. I mean, it's a decent sculpt. It's not like they made it too thick or anything. It looks good, but it's just it's just a silly issue. I don't, I don't get why that kind of stuff happens. It's just not considered, I guess. Hips have great range going out to the side. That's exceptional. Going forward, not as far. Almost horizontal, but not quite. So that's a bit of an issue. Going back is fine. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is fine. Ankle goes all the way back and all the way forward. That's good. We have a really offset ankle rocker though. That swivel hinge is very crooked. And the ankle joints themselves are very crooked. Look, that tail's in the way again. Look, it was there. You saw me have to move it. It's a dumb design. So look at the ankle joints. They are angled. Why? So that when you go like this and then rock the foot, it helps a little? I don't think so. It doesn't. Why are the ankles angled? That's just a silly thing to do too. What the heck? All right, whatever. Articulation wise, this figure is mostly really good. Mostly really good. I'll give it an eight. It has a good overall batch of articulation pieces, points, and I like it. So final verdicts on this guy. They did some really dumb things here. It's like Hasbro can't help themselves from doing dumb things. But all in all, it is still an exceptional release. I personally, completely subjectively really like this figure. I would go as far as to say I love it, but that's, like I said, purely subjective because I like Nightcrawler and they didn't totally ruin it. But objectively, it's still a really strong release. Very, very nice. A few stupid issues, but things you can probably look past if I had to say, and I think you guys will like it. So final verdict is eight out of 10. Very, very strong release with some very stupid issues, and that'll do it. Let me know what you guys think about this figure in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, you might wanna do it. I have new videos out just about every single day and thousands already on the channel just waiting for you to watch them. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.